Other purposes of analysis and reporting are to ensure that IT is provided with enough funding to allow it to provide services as agreed. IT is funded by the business and must justify its funding needs in terms of how much money is needed and what it will be used for. To help customers understand the value they get from using IT services and to check that strategic decisions deliver the financial benefits envisaged. Your study guide includes some other purposes. We'll now look at one particular analysis, budget deviation analysis. We'll be studying budgeting in detail in the next lesson. For now, let's just remember that a budget forecasts income and expenditure over the budgeting period, which is usually one year. The purpose of the budget is to ensure that the organization, in our case the service provider, has enough money to allow it to do all that it has been asked to do. Financial forecasts are based on past performance, assumptions, and the experience of managers. They are rarely accurate. Actual income and expenditure must be tracked and compared with the forecasts. If actual performance diverges from the forecasts, then some remedial action must be taken. The diagram on your screen shows an example of a budget deviation analysis. The horizontal axis of the graph represents time. You can see financial year 10 is divided into four quarters, which is a common control period used by financial management. At the end of each control period, the difference between the actual profitability and forecast profitability is calculated. This figure is known as the budget deviation. The y-axis on the graph represents the budget deviation as a percentage. A deviation of zero means that actual profitability is exactly what was forecast. The horizontal line, labeled budget for FY10, represents a budget deviation of zero percent. Anything above that line means that profitability is more than was expected. Anything below means that it is less than expected. A deviation in either direction could indicate a problem. We have simplified this diagram by only showing negative deviations. Check out your study guide for an example that shows both positive and negative deviations. We know that budgets are inaccurate, so we would not expect the budget deviation to be zero. So investigating each deviation would likely be a waste of time. In practice, we would set a threshold and provided the deviation remained within that threshold, we would take no action. In this example, the threshold has been set at minus 2.5%. Notice that this is cumulative. The line labeled maximum deviation shows the threshold through the year. If the budget deviation is within the shaded area, then no action needs to be taken. The dashed line shows a budget deviation of minus 5% at quarter one. This is beyond the threshold of what is acceptable, and action must be taken. The dotted line shows what might happen in the future if no action is taken. The action plan may involve a new budget.